Hey guys, uh, based on the thumbnail, you know I'm going to be talking about Survivor Man. Uh, absolutely, I used to watch the show all the time when it was on TV. But now, Les Stroud, you know, he has his YouTube channel to where he has various Survivor Man episodes, director's commentary, and instructional videos. He's going to have a podcast coming out soon, and he's also making various other shows. But with Survivor Man itself, so, so interesting and... It feels like you're there with him, and obviously it's because, you know, it's just him and his cameras and him talking to you, talking to the cameras as if he's talking to you. But with me, the thing that I find with Survivor Man is that my brain makes mental notes watching this. It's like, okay, this is this is important stuff. Like, uh, if, if you're stranded, this is what you got to do to survive. Whether it's making a shelter, trying to find food finding water, you know, making a fire, etc. Now, of course, watching Survivor Man while you're sitting on your bed eating a Pop-Tart, that that's definitely not the way to go. You know, it takes years and years of survival experience to try and do this stuff. But, you know, with my brain, it's like, okay, if I'm ever in this situation and this is the circumstance or this is what I see, I can use this to my advantage. So, yeah, with Les Stroud, you know, 35, if not like 40 years of survival experience, but he does make mistakes still. You know, I remember like one of the episodes was in Transylvania. You know, he's walking down a trail and then all of a sudden like led off to a cliff. And he's like, you know, if I would have slipped, I would have fell. So that's what he's saying. He's like 35 years of experience and I still make mistakes. And, you know, think of somebody that has zero survival experience and they are stranded and trying to survive absolute living hell that these people go through so you know just just brief uh recap on what survivor man is uh les stroud is the host uh but uh so he goes off in these various places on earth whether it's a forest or you know canyons mountains or you know even on islands and whatnot and it's just him and the cameras for a week you know might have you know have like a little survival pack and whatnot but for the most part yeah it's just trying to make a shelter make a fire you know get water get food etc and you know it definitely shows how crucial items are how crucial a a simple tent could be that like a simple you know shelter you can make like okay i'm gonna make a roof how simple a bed can make which is just you know could just be a lot of pine needles a lot of leaves etc and you know make a fire and whatnot just absolutely crucial crucial pieces in order to survive and like by like day four yeah he looks horrible man absolutely horrible and you know like i said that that's somebody with 35 plus years of survival experience i just think of the people that get stranded and have to survive that have absolutely no experience um but yeah survivor man itself truly truly enjoying Les Stroud is such an, enga an engaging person to watch and listen to. You know, definitely somebody to where you will want to hang out at like a bar and just like talk stories and whatnot. And I think with Les Stroud, uh, sorry, voice cracked. I think with Les Stroud, it's kind of like other hosts that I really enjoy, whether it's Josh Gates on Expedition Unknown or Don Wilm in Mysteries of the Museum or Mike Rowe, Dirty Jobs. It feels like you're hanging out with like a family member or a friend and just like hearing what they have to say and they're all very very passionate about what they're doing but yeah as for a survive man les stroud truly enjoy the show truly enjoy whenever les stroud talks uh i know he's in the um what is it called gq qg something like that where like the celebrities and hosts uh review and discuss various scenes in movies i know he's in a couple of them like survival or jungle scenes and movies so just you know it's very very awesome to hear him talk and like what he has to say and whatnot uh i will be making a video in the soon future to where one of the seasons he was uh out in the woods and whatnot meeting various people and talking about and you know trying to come down to the conclusion on the possibility of whether a Sasquatch exists. Now, it's kind of cool with Les to where, you know, he's like, I'm not, I'm not saying these things don't exist, I'm not, and I'm not saying these things exist. I just want to come down and, you know, make my own conclusion. You know, see, see what's out here. See what people, you know, what's all the fuss is about. 
So uh, I will be making a video as to what I think about the possibility of a Sasquatch existing. Stay tuned for that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and take care.